journey has been like so far. Ladies and gentlemen, let me present to you the CEO of Tutal, Mr. Sikshit Bhatta. Let's give a very big round of applause and welcome him. Yeah, the picture at the background reminds me that uh, I've gained a little bit of weight and it was taken a couple of years ago, so. Good afternoon, everyone. You don't need to applaud. Um, you know, normally, I've been uh, invited to these kind of programs to speak. And mostly, I do speak and, and leave. And uh, on very few occasions, uh, you come up here to speak after being inspired by someone like uh, uh, Kamala Sresta. And the journey that she's taken is not only an inspiration to me, but to people like you and the generations to follow. So thank you very much for inspiring us. Thank you very much for that wonderful story and the journey that you've shared with us. Well, my journey is not as long as what she has. It's fairly short. I'm not even 40. So, you know, I was born in the far western part of Nepal, uh, in Doti, and uh, like both my siblings, I wasn't even attended by a medical professional. So my chances of surviving, my fifth birthday was very, very less, maybe around 60 to 70 percent, because the childhood mortality back in those days was very, very high. But if you look at uh, the childhood mortality that we have today, it's significantly less, isn't it? And most of the deliveries are attended by the medical professional, which means that our society has progressed. Um, a woman suffering from a breast cancer today has less likelihood of dying than a pregnant woman in 1970s, that's a fact. So we've progressed a lot. And what makes this progress possible? How we've come here? And I think my journey through life is not a journey of success, but my journey through life is a story of progress. And I think we all need to rally ourselves through that journey of progress. So after being born in, in the far west in Nepal, my, my mom chose me to come to Kathmandu. She was not very educated, of course. Uh, since we didn't have a school, back in Doti where I was born, she felt that her child needs to get a good education. Now, this is a decision made by a woman, not very affluent, not educated, never been to school, at least uh, for a significant period in time, married at a very young age, and that decision led me to come to Kathmandu, and therefore I got a good education uh, in a school here, in a boarding school and followed up, I did my engineering, uh, then happened to do my MBA. I got married, I have a son. Now why I'm telling this story is that uh, the decision made by this woman, who was not very much educated herself, didn't only change my life. And because of that decision, my son goes to a good school. And it's very likely that the generation to follow would have a good education. That is the power of a decision of a woman. And a decision of a woman that's not educated. Now just imagine if we were to educate all the women, all the girls' child, what kind of society we would have built and the progress therefore could have been here. And that is where we are right now. And many people would ask me, you know, I, I took risks. I did my engineering. I went to an engineering school, MBA. I worked for a telecom company, moved to a bank. Uh, for 12 years, I was working for others. And suddenly, I decided to move on. I quit my job. While I was paid pretty well, I had all the amenities, all the facilities that came up with a job of a banker. Um, I decided to take risk. And many people were would ask me, why did you become an entrepreneur? 
why did you do this? There is a significant risk. And what problem would you want to solve? And I told them that I didn't become an entrepreneur to solve a problem. I think I became an entrepreneur to express myself. And for me, entrepreneurship is pretty much like art and music and dance and fashion and poetry and painting. And that is what I suggest. You know, we've always been growing up and we've always been told that uh, we need to get into a mainstream job, we need to become a doctor or an engineer or run a business. Right? It's not necessary. What is necessary is to express yourself and to find your expression. What is your expression is very important. Is that music? Is that poetry? Is that dance? Is that